You've mentioned the young players are starting tonight. How difficult has it been and frustrating with the embargo, the restrictions? Yeah, well, there's, there's two young lads who deserve to be in the squad tonight, in Liam Thompson and Cashin, who um, unfortunately they can't because of the restrictions which are against us. Um, they were on the bench on, on Saturday, but I couldn't bring them on because I was saving that spot for Ravel and I've got no spots left. So, actually, for the academy lads, if they do well um, in the academy, where we're at the minute, um, there's no pathway for them to come through with the first team. It's always difficult your first job, but how difficult has it been with the ownership situation and the on-off things that have been going on? Yeah, very difficult. I think it's it's well known um, to everyone really the, the difficulties um, we're having in in getting players in in, in terms of, for instance, all me young lads to a class as first team um, squad players, where every other team in the division um, it's not. So. It's not ideal, but my focus is, is on the players I've got. I have to prepare them players for tonight but, um, and also the, the next league game coming up on Saturday. This isn't what you signed up to, though, is it? Have you thought about, obviously, walking or giving this job up? No, guys, you know me, I'm a fighter. I, um, it's a challenge, of course. It's a, a very difficult challenge, but um, this is an experience which I never thought um, I'd be coming into, but no, I love managing. I love the, the task of getting these players ready, developing um, players, but also making some of the senior lads better. And yeah, it's, um, I'll keep going, I'll keep preparing the team well and try and bring some pride back to this club. We've both known Ravel Morrison for a long time. What are you going to get out of him this season? Yeah, I think with Ravel, I think I've actually seen you speak about him yourself as well. And um, I think sometimes unfairly he gets a lot of criticism. Um, I think he's a bit misunderstood. He's a great lad um, and it's on me to manage him. Um, I've been there, I've been in some of the situations he's been in himself throughout my, my career. Um, so I'll try and guide him, try and get the best out of him on the pitch. And if I get the best out of him, then I've got a real um, top football player. Salford City have already beaten you this season. <laughs> How are you going to turn that round tonight? Yeah, well, I think the slope on the pitch didn't help. <laughs> no, listen, um, no, we're, we're fully respecting this game. It's a, as I said, I want to win the game. We're expecting to win the game, um, but also we have to look beyond this game as well. So it's a, it's a great chance for the young lads, um, of course, and I think I th um, it's a chance for us to move forward in the cup to play against um, a Premier League team. Maybe you don't know. It's obviously a great chance for Salford as well. So. I'm expecting a tough game, a very challenging game, and if we do our jobs right, um, I think we'll win.